What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we spent more time underwater. I think we found Catherine in the last episode, who has guided us, or rather, uh, told us we need to go to Theta. And now we are guiding her to Theta. We were looking for a vessel on this ship here, and yeah, we're just about to get started with that. So, without further ado, let's go on through. Oh, something just loaded. Oh, that's right. So this is the the Curie. Oh, we're gonna have a tough time throwing things because it's all just floating. I wonder what robots we're gonna run into in here. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we'll back up from that. I was gonna say, of course they wouldn't let this, like, calming green to continue. It has to be the more alarming red that seeps into the gameplay. So, is this... I really want to see... Huh. What? Nothing but a massive firestorm covering the continent. Oh, crap. Alright, look away, look away. It's... Uh-oh. I think it's getting a little bit closer to me. We'll go through here. Get some pictures of the firestorm on screen there. Lovely. We're gonna go around this way. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, not good, not good, not good. It's okay, it's gonna walk past this door, right? Nope. It did not walk past that door, so we're going to very calmly walk away from it, without looking at it. Whew. The sky is pitch black. Do you guys see it? It, like, teleported, too. Oh, okay. We won't go that way, either. Seriously? Is it tracking me right now? Okay. Alright, we're going to turn away, and we're, we're just going to run at this point. Hopefully get outside of its range that it'll, like, follow us. Oh, nope, it's following us, all right. So we are going to turn the corner here and hide and hope for the best because we have nowhere else to run to. Oh, it's definitely getting closer. I'm not very confident this is going to work out for us, guys. <laughs> I think it just teleported away. Because there isn't, there isn't really any static anymore. <clears throat> there isn't really any static anymore. What the heck? Where is it? I'm not even looking at it. But we were clearly looking in its direction. Now I think it teleported close to us. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is, this is pretty not good at the moment. It's like literally on the other side of the wall. It looks like it's actually trying to walk through the wall towards us, but just having a tough time. Yikes. <laughs> we may actually be pinned here now, which is not good. Something interesting though is I couldn't see the robot or whatever it is, um, but clearly we were looking in its direction and it was getting agitated or triggered by that so even then, I think it's in that hallway, and when we look at it, it gets alerted to where we are, or something like that, where it's going to start coming after us. So I need to wait long enough that when I look over here, it's not in the hallway. It is good to know, however, it will come all the way out here to get me. The question is, where do I have to go from here? Where is it right now? Oh, we did not go in this room on the left yet, did we? Can I close this door, please? All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna close this door. Thank you very much. And take some time to think for a moment. Can I interact with this? Uh, it doesn't seem so. Okay. What about this computer screen? No, nothing. So is this room literally just? Wow. Oh, some remains? A human? What does it say at the bottom? The Stoics? And then probably somebody's name. I don't really know. But, alright. 
I guess we'll get ready to head on out into the, the world again. We didn't really learn much from that room. But we can take refuge in there to some degree. Great. Great, 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 great. I have no idea where it is. I feel like the leaning feature isn't actually all that helpful. Because in order to lean, you need to be like fairly into whatever room you're going into or trying to peek into. Also, I did see that static. Don't worry, guys. Are we safe in here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we're going to promptly head to the corner here because there's a good chance it saw us. It's probably patrolling right by us now, actually. Which is okay, because it means so long as it doesn't go through this door, once the static starts to fade away, it's going to be heading in the, a different direction, right? So it's going to approach this door on our left. And if it goes straight, it's going to walk into this room and probably kill us, which would be less than ideal. But there's also a chance it turns left, and then it'll start to walk away from us. And if it does that, we can go to wherever it came from. And I think that's what we want to do. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Well, at this point all we can do is hide, right? Or potentially try to run away, but even then... What is it saying? Is it saying, like, wait for me? It's kind of what it sounds like. <clears throat> Alright, so I can still see some of the static. So it's it's got to be somewhat close by, even if it's moving away a little bit. So we'll, we'll give it a minute. We'll, we'll play a little bit patiently here. Such as stealth games, right? So I don't see it there, like last time. It's certainly nearby. But I don't know where nearby. What happens if we go over here? Do we find anything interesting? No. We find a dead end. But it's good to know that such a thing exists. We're so screwed. We're like so screwed right now. This is why the dead end exists. To screw people over like me. <laughs> Who check it out. And it seems like it's walking closer and closer to us. I bet it goes to, like walks to, and then investigates the last position it saw me in. But now... The static faded a little bit, so it might have gone a different direction. Oh, I'm noticing a little bit of static. So we'll wait a minute. Okay. I expect the static to increase now. Oh, that's not good. Not good, not good, not good. So it was turning down that hall anyways. It's probably going to walk closer to us now. Yeah, it's getting closer. Man, yeah, this lean feature. Oh my god. That was intense. So we'll back up. Hopefully it doesn't walk towards us. I thought maybe the lean feature would be a little bit more, no pun intended, lenient with being able to look at the monster. You can still hear it. Still noticing a little bit of static. It's probably close by. It seems to be getting closer. We can obviously hear ourselves breathing in this suit. I'm just gonna hold still. I don't know if like, even crouching, we probably make some noise when we move, right? So at this point, if I think it's getting closer to me and I'm hidden, like out of, you know, it's line of sight, I might as well just stay put. It's not like I have much more room to hide behind me. So I think whenever that like shake happens and it's like that big jump or spike in intensity, I think that is when it's um... Oh come on! Every time. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna move this way. It may see me. It might not. I don't know actually how this thing's AI works. I wonder if it's targeting me once it sees me. Oh, God. It's um, presumably getting closer. Can I go through this window here? Because that's where I need to go. 
Darn it. Can I go through this? Please? Please? Nope, guess not. How the heck are we gonna get over there then? Ah, crap. This is very not good. This is very not good. Alright, actually, you know what? We're gonna... Come on over, buddy. Come on over here. We are gonna do a little dance here. Oh, boy. We are running. We are running. Can I close the door? Can I close the door? Is there a door to close? There is. Close it, close it. Faster, faster. Okay, the door's been closed. The real question is, am I safe because the door is closed? I am hoping, betting on yes, but that's far from a guarantee. <laughs> yeah, I feel like sometimes in these sort of like stealth horror games, sometimes you just gotta go for it, you know? Can I, can I interact with anything in here? I noticed the static, it's probably nearby. Um, let's see here. We'll interact with this doobly-doo again. Whatever it is. It's getting a good squeeze out of us. What the heck? What just happened? I don't know. But okay, so let's reorient ourselves. Where do we need to go from here? I turned, and I went down that hall, and then I think I turned right to get over here. So I don't really know where else I need to go. I think if I turn out of this hall, or out of this door, and then turn right, and then right again, I might get to some new area. However, clearly, our friend is very close by. gonna hold hold tight for now he's got to be like right next to me uh oh we're just gonna turn away hope for the best we're not gonna look at him hope he doesn't see us I think that's all we can do I think that's all we can do and he left us alone which is good to know uh oh <laughs> Nope, we're gonna nope right back to the corner. If you guys saw that, I literally took like one step forward and immediately the screen just like went haywire. Yep, we'll do the same. So clearly, he is right near us, I guess. And somehow his detection of us is dependent on us looking at him. So, I guess we'll hold tight for now. As good as the stealth, you know, mechanic might be, I will say this is a little bit of a downside of you know, stealth horror games. I mean, like, how many minutes of this episode have already just been, like, us waiting in a corner for whatever enemy it is to go away? <laughs> Probably at least half the episode. Alright, so we're going to turn right. And then we're going to turn right again. And I think this is... No, it's that dead end. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, we're gonna look away. He probably saw us, which is totally okay. Nothing could possibly go wrong because he saw us. In fact, I don't... We'll see, actually. We are comfortably cruising right now. Do we want to go left or right? Well, looks like right's the answer. And it sounds like we've maybe made it past him? The music changed. Which tempts me to think that we have actually made it past. So we can turn this. That should bring a ladder down. I don't know what's over there. Honestly, I'm looking forward to just getting out of here, though. So, yep, I knew it. I knew it. As soon as we started climbing the ladder, the monster would come. Is it going to be, like, waiting for us down there? No. Okay. Well, hopefully it stays down there. Would be appreciated. Hmm. Anything of note in here? Can I read that? No. Various tools, which is not surprising. Can I jump up to that? No, I can't. And it's not like it even leads anywhere. Alright, through this door we go. Would not be surprised if there was another one of our friends waiting for us here. 
I mean, ideally we left him behind, but like, look at this little crevice here. This is like ideal for hiding. Let's explore this room on the right. Anything interesting in here? What is all this on the walls? It's very odd. And then, is this... Oh, we can use our Omni tool here. Huh? What? Oh, you made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Uh, ah, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocked. Of course. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom <laughs> of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. All right. There's monsters out there, like the ones we saw at Landa. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know. I'm going. All right. Well, looks like we know what we're doing. So we found the life vessel, um, which is pretty cool. But now we've obviously got to find this engine room to disengage the safety locks or whatever. All right, so let, let's try and be a little bit more aggressive this time around. All right, another workroom. We'll continue to go around the perimeter. It's good to know that there's a central room though, which will allow us to navigate the perimeter a little bit better. Uh-oh, okay. So we won't go that way for now. We'll go through the middle here. A little bit of frame drop. Never hurt anybody. Alright, so we'll open this door. Hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. Is there anything of value over here? No? A hiding spot, potentially? I don't know what the value of this is. So I clearly need to make it to that other room. Oh, there he is. There's our friend. Alright, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be a little more aggressive. And we're just going to walk past him this way. Uh-oh. Impact, Impact imminent. Yikes. Do we want to go up here? Is this where the safety locks or whatever are going to be? No, doesn't look like it. And now we are cornered. And our friend is somewhere near us. I don't know where, but definitely close by. I can't even... Well, I guess I can briefly glimpse at the stairwell this way. Like, I don't think they're going to be able to attack us without coming up that stairwell. At which point... I guess it doesn't even matter. We're kind of a lost cause there. It seems like he's walking through this room. So he's probably patrolling and following literally the path we just took ourselves. Yep. <laughs> Had to take a quick peek. So, and if he was about halfway there... Well, he's probably about halfway through now. Yeah, so I think he's on the other side of the room at the moment. Alright. Oh, okay. I think he's, like, just outside the door on the other side. So, given I didn't find anything to interact with right now... We're gonna do is we're gonna turn this way. Can I do anything with this map? No, I can't. And unfortunately, I saw a little bit of static there. Ah, oh, crap. Are we trapped here? No. Okay. Ah, so this is the gateway to the next level. Okay. Is it following us? Is it also? Is there another one up here? I don't quite know. I think we're making good progress. There's another stairwell up. But there's also this floor here. Where are the engine rooms? Can I open this? No. How about this one? I can. I'm like waiting for the moment I open one of these and one of our friends is just going to be waiting on the other side. It's going to be a lovely experience, I can tell you that. Okay. Head up here and see what we can find. Though I'm not too optimistic. What's the purpose of this room? 
I mean, clearly we can like navigate around here, but I'm so lost. Like, where are we? Is this the engine room? Looks like it might be. What are these things? Reactor temperature steady. Coolant efficiency. I'm just gonna unplug all this stuff. What's weird is like, it looks like it's integrated, right? It almost makes me think that this sort of technology is intentional. Are we gonna try and like make this thing blow up or what? Reactor temperature, service required. Coolant efficiency is dropping. <laughs> All right, so I don't think that worked as well as I would have liked. Warning, reactor collapse imminent. Proceed to the emergency. Okay, so we're gonna run. Rather than disengage safety locks, what did we do instead? <laughs> we just basically committed the whole place to blowing up. No big deal. So that was where, where did we come from? We came from this stairwell here. Okay, that was a little bit close for comfort. Just a little bit. We're gonna keep going down. We went in here and then to the right. Keep calm. Gotta remember where I am, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Over here is the life vessel, yes. All right, we are here. Catherine, help me out here. Come on, Catherine, come on, Catherine. Literally gonna be like, the last second it's gonna be like banging on the door. Hold on to something. Are we good? I think we made it. Can you steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. <laughs> How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. Okay. Oh, done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. How reassuring. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Bridge for impact! Oh, great. Hold on, the blast just pushed us off the plateau. What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Well, I certainly hope you hit Delta, Catherine. <laughs> Yeah, what a, what a chaotic sequence leading up to getting into the life vessel. And then we're learning a little bit about what WoW is. It was an AI essentially gone wrong. And it did sort of take over. Oh, wow. So it looks like we did make it to Delta. But yeah, in, like, in an attempt to keep the whole station alive and afloat, it seems like this WoW or whatever... Um, went awry, arguably keeping all the people alive as machines, because we saw what it was doing to, what was it, Amy, right? In addition to the machines themselves. All right, so we'll take Catherine with us and then head out of here. Where is the exit door? Exit door should be over here. Lovely. I'll never get this over. Okay. Um, what is that? A what? Is somebody else opening the door for me? Uh-oh, guys. Hopefully this is an ally. There's no guarantee in a game like this. <laughs> it's our friend. Reminds me of, like, the little droids in Star Wars, like R2-D2 and stuff. Always ready to help out in a pinch. Well, at least we made some progress, right? All right. Could use a little bit of guidance here, friend. Following you. 
And you seem to be just going around in circles. I mean, you're really cool and all. I'm happy to hang out with you, but um, I think we're going to want to go in this direction. So we've made it to Delta. And luckily we made it to Delta, right? We impacted Delta. <laughs> and that's what kept us alive, supposedly. So I guess we can run around a little bit for now. What is this on the right? The flashing red light. Oh, is it like a fence of some sort? Can I jump over it? Nope. And it looks like there are train tracks, maybe? Huh. Interesting. Oh, I'm on the fence. That was exciting for a moment. Where did the tracks lead? Do we want to go right or left, guys? I'm tempted to think left is the way to progress. So we'll do that for now. Granted, these are probably one big loop. So it's not something we're going to want to follow all the way around. Right? But this is the control room. Obviously, it's been a minute since that's been used. I know the rescue, like, Delta Rescue Team was notified, but I don't think they'll be that helpful right now. Can we get in? Oh, is our friend going to help us out? They are! How lovely. What should we name you? Hmm. What should we name you? Good robot. good robot. Who's a good robot? You're a good robot. Can I open this a little bit more? Nope. Okay, we're just gonna have to squeeze by. Oh. Well, uh, this person has seen better days. You saw that, right? You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit into them? He got me pretty bad. I think I'm even worse at pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? Fuck. He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead. Remember? The Lumar Annex should work. It has to. Yeah. You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn them. Come on! Interesting. So it seems like the, the Lumar and next might be our next step. But also, this shows that there was somebody named Akers, I think, who was injecting people with something. Maybe structure gel? Maybe that's, like, what draws, like, wow to you or something like that? Clearly, this person didn't out turn, or didn't turn out too well. <laughs> Just, like, random button. I'm wondering, like, what happens as a result, but no. Nothing too interesting. So I guess we'll head on out again. Don't remember exactly where I was going. But I think these lights are some guidance. Hopefully. Am I supposed to find something at Delta? Or am I supposed to move past Delta in an attempt to walk through to Theta? I don't really know. Maybe we'll find something here? No. I don't think so. The music's nice, ambient music. Like, what happens if we just keep on, like, running in this direction? I don't know. Are we eventually gonna get to a cliff? A yep. What is that? Just like. Some random stuff floating there. <laughs> it's kind of odd. But, okay. So at the very least, we have the direction of, okay, there are these cliffs here that are clearly stating you've got to find something at the Delta base that's going to get you on to the, the next step. So let's head back to Delta base. What's this over here? Mm, doesn't look too important, but... There's some sort of rune. And then, yeah, here's the, the edge of that cliff. Okay, so I feel a little bit more comfortable going back now, not feeling like I'm missing out on something as much. Hmm. 
So we already went in here. Where else do we need to go? What is that over there? It does not... I mean, granted it's red. I don't think it's a friendly robot, but at the same time... What does this do? Oh, I'm like searching for something with this. Yeah, you put in a good word for me. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good thing. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Did you move the Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. At the very least, that robot's not reacting to me. Link established. Interesting. Man, you can really tell when Astrid is off platform. This place turns into such a locker room. Not in a good way, either. Hmm. Okay. What happens if I change the channel? I'm wondering, because we the last time we got a signal was on that green line. Are those the only three areas we really need to test? I don't know. And does the channel make much of a difference? Is this something that I need to check every channel, all the different things to, to really get everything out of? I don't really know. Is this the Lumar Annex? I don't know. At the very least, that robot didn't attack us while we were doing this, so we can do this somewhat comfortably. And it looks like this building on our immediate left is something we haven't been in before. So... So we can check that out in a second, too. But I mean, at this point we're already halfway done with checking all these channels, so... So we can do that. Link established, cool. We can find anything? Does it say anything? No? I guess not. Thought I'd at least learn something from that. Maybe we need to establish that link later on, after we've already encountered or interacted with something else. That was, what, channel 5 and then yellow? Oh, that was what, 216? I don't know, man. I just say we can keep things classy even when women aren't around. So, we can establish all these links. It was like 49 was top right, 216 is down there. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know. You're so full of shit, Brandon. I've seen you. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get the data. Make yourself useful. You can... Hey, can you hear me? Don't worry about it. I got this. Do you, though? Forget it, Akers. I'm not playing with you anymore. As if chess wasn't boring enough. You just have to go and win in four moves or whatever. So I don't know if they're trying to characterize Akers as some, like, super smart Did person that took advantage shields? of everybody else. No, the same one. The healer. So now that we've spent a few minutes seeking those channels for no apparent reason, it seems, uh, we'll head into this room and see what we find. It is a pressurized chamber, so we have to drain this water. It makes me think this is going to be more important than what we found elsewhere. Maybe we'll learn more about this Acres person, right? What does this say? The light is hurting my eyes. He's telling me I don't need this vitreous flesh inside my skull to see salvation. I will gladly remove them. Stop them from obfuscating the divine mission. Okay, so now we're thinking kind of cult-like. <laughs> People are talking about not needing their own bodies so that they can, like, be one with whatever mission and stuff. Not, not super good. Hmm. So, like, via some means, this person was basically trying to dissociate from their human body in order to, like, become more one with their divine mission or whatever. 
Let's see. It's exciting to watch WoW claim Delta. Half a year ago, I'd be worried. I'd have Goya and Wan clean the black blood from the machinery. Now its crusty surfaces seem to complement, even outshine what Delta was. Okay, so it seems like Delta was maybe the origin of WoW and how it's all spread from there. And clearly one person, Acres, was behind this, trying to have it happen. Hmm. So initially WoW was something that that ran off this black blood, right? That structure gel. And it was maintained in a very careful manner. But it seems Acres went, well, a little awry and became, I don't know, like uh, some sort of like religious outlook related to the, the black blood and WoW and so forth and intentionally helped it run amok. And that's what led to everything going on here. And we can be fairly confident this is Acres writing. This is probably Acres as well because there's the chess up here, which we just learned is something that he likes to do. I wonder what happens if we uh, if we actually play corrupt opponent. Interesting. What does this say? Hmm. My reflection in the black blood of our warden whispers. I need to save them from this hell. Let them sleep. Lock them in the lucid dreams I've seen. What? My reflection in the black blood of our warden whispers. I need to save them from this hell. So this is Acres sort of taking on this mission, right? He's almost, almost psychotically seeing some sort of purpose when he looks at himself as it's reflected in the black blood of the structure gel. And he sees that, oh, I'm somebody who needs to save everybody else from what the current life down here is. And he wants to let them sleep, lock them in the lucid dreams I've seen. Some vision he has of an ideal paradise, which is arguably one where, or supposedly one where, you know, bodies aren't needed. What was that sound effect? Like this one just like sounds normal, but listen to this one. It sounds all wet. Those playing cards? They are. And what do we have over here? Some sort of medicine. Out of curiosity, what, what sort of medicine? Alpra X? Alprazolam? Some sort of benzo? Maybe it helped with sleep or anxiety or whatever it may be. Okay. Um, I guess we can head out of here then. I think that's all we were really supposed to glean. I mean, we learned a lot from that. I think that actually offered a lot of like world building, a lot of insight into how... I mean, we're putting together a lot of different pieces, right? We're finding little bits of information, scattered information here and there, that we're putting together to get the big picture. But we still need to get to Theta, and I don't know how we're going to do that. There's this channel thing, but I and I feel like we have to use that. But at the same time... I don't know. So we checked out the control room already. Where else can we go? So this is the Zeppelin Transport Theta. Fortunately, doesn't seem to be anything left. And I think that's what Acres took when going away. That's what we learned earlier. But I don't think we've been here before. So our friend is going to help us gain entry. Okay. The question is, what are we going to find in here? Ah, yes. Another one of the, the WoW things. Holy cow. WoW really went astray here. Like, really went astray. There's a button here, a power button. I wonder, is it draining us, or are we draining it from this? It definitely seems like the former. But each time, his hand just gets a little bit deeper. <laughs> I don't think we need to do anything with that back area. Let's see here. So the map shows Omega, Phi. We started at Upsilon, which I think is on the far left. And we're at Delta, which is pretty close to Theta. But from here, we can go to Omicron. And the end goal, I believe, is Phi, which is where the arc was. So we're not too far off, and we are making progress. 
Let's turn the power button on here. UH manual messages, access log, and chess. So this is oh K8 Kate. And intelligence comes well while the Kate lacks a voice module, it is able to communicate via simplified sounds and lights. The bull. Um, okay. This is the the topa. And then the, the qualia, the vessel is basic intelligence. Only a pilot is needed to fully utilize its equipment. Maybe that's what we're supposed to glean from this. This is some sort of equipment we can actually use. Messages from 2103 over the course of a few days, and then suddenly Christmas a few months later. So, Terry, it's been decided that you and your crew will evacuate to Theta on the 14th. Everything is being taken care of, and you will all be given new positions as you arrive. You'll have to fall into the ranks, of course. Last thing we need are more leaders. <sighs> F you, Kronstadt. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have the authority to make me. Terry. Yikes. And the subject is your... It's your funeral. <laughs> this isn't my orders, you idiot. I'm just the messenger. You want to stay? I can buy you some time if you want to hang out at your dump, but your crew is moving tomorrow. Yikes. Whoever Terry is is not happy about heading out of here. And then this is um, from Strasky. Mr. Akers, I'm happy to inform you that your crew has safely arrived at Theta. Let me know when you are ready to move, and I'll send a transport. From Peter Strasky. We've interacted with Peter Strasky before, haven't we? So, I'm having a tough time piecing this together. So, from Kronstedt, Theta. About the Delta, Delta evacuation. He's talking to somebody about, you know, Terry. Telling him to evacuate, and the following day, Terry responds rather unpleasantly and then Kronstedt's like well it's not my deal and then the following day everybody has headed out presumably Terry included but maybe not and then a few months later on Christmas Merry Christmas Mr. Akers doesn't it don't hesitate to ask if you want to be reloco relocated to Theta so maybe Akers was one of the only was alone essentially um, on here maybe like with Terry and one other person Oh, that would maybe be the dead body that we saw. That was probably Terry. But it seemed like Terry was talking to somebody else too. So maybe maybe there were a couple stragglers, or maybe a couple people sent came or like went back. Not a hundred percent, but the access log. So in twenty one oh four, so this is the year after all of those messages were sent. On the eleventh, local access from Terry Akers. There we go. So, Terry was pretty adamant about staying here, and Terry is Mr. Akers. And then, over the next couple days, he won his 1,000th game of chess. Wow. And it seems like the last access was on January 15th, so maybe that's something we need to, to figure out. Games 1,610, 1,000, lost 610. Okay. So again, more world building, which is appreciated, but I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> And at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. We're not going to find out what to do. This looks like the machine I can maybe operate from that guide. But I don't... I don't know. Hmm. Hello, friend. Should I keep going this way? Are you guiding me somewhere? Let's see if this works. Is this where I'm supposed to go or what? Nah, I doubt it. I think it's just it's just going where I go. Okay, well at this point, have we been in here? I don't think so. Must have shut. Probably for the best. Not sure I trust the shuttle train. Fair point. So we hadn't been in there, and we can't go in there now. So I think we've been in all the different rooms. I'm sure we need to figure out what to do with this. And I don't really know. It looks like it's hooked up to something here. So I guess we can use it to try to communicate with somebody, but I don't know how we do the communication. Even when we find a link, we're not able to really do much with it. So, I think I'm going to sit on this one and, and think for a moment. We'll say that in the next episode, we hopefully move from Data 
data from Delta to Theta. In this one, we had some pretty close calls with some of the monsters. But importantly, we also learned a lot about what happened at Delta, right? With Mr. Akers and the sort of cult-like relationship with the structure gel and how that largely led to, or at least Mr. Anchor's actions involving the, the structure gel probably contributed to WoW going um, berserk and thus taking over so much of the stations and probably leading to their current state. So, very informative episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. This game is, is pretty chill. There's a lot of downtime, a lot of exploring, a lot of observing. A lot of looking for clues, trying to find out where to go, and so it's not, you know, a high-intensity <laughs> playthrough by any means. But I hope you guys are enjoying it nonetheless. I know Kate certainly is. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.